I'm going to show you how to remove the indexing. This is the advanced indexing removal which involves removing the anti-tamper and the trigger mechanism. It's not complicated and um, anybody who can uh, handle a, an Allen key should be capable of doing this themselves. Um, you'll need a need the tools for the job. You'll need a three millimeter Allen key to remove that cap head screw. There you go. And then you'll need a four millimeter Allen key for removing the other one. They do sometimes differ from gun to gun, so um, your best bet is to have a, a set of Allen keys handy. Right, so there we go. That's the uh, mechanism removed from the rifle. I'm going to show you how to remove the indexing from the trigger mechanism. That's the indexing arm that we want to remove. That runs on the hammer when the gun fires, which then indexes the magazine. To do this, you'll need a pair of pliers. Um, you can use soft jaw pliers or, or a cardboard or something to protect the um, finish on this piece, but this is going to go in the bin. So remove that. Okay. Then we need to um, remove this nut with your 7mm spanner. Okay. And then you need a 2mm Allen key to remove this grub screw. Then we need to drive out this little pivot pin like that. And then the arm should slide out like that. That's the arm removed. And one trigger mechanism minus indexing parts. We're going to fit the trigger mechanism back on the R10 now that we've removed the indexing arm and its associated bits. The trigger mechanism goes back on the action. Line the holes up. The long screw goes in the front. Just tighten that up slightly. Then the short screw short screw goes in the back just tighten that up slightly then make sure it's all nice and aligned and nip it up it doesn't need to be very tight just a nice sort of two finger pressure Okay. Once you've done that, just make sure that your um, trigger is not set wrong because when you um, take the trigger mechanism off you, you are obviously interfering with the mechanism so you just need to make sure that it's not set too fine or, or anything. And there we go.